for shutting me down, refrain from asking what is wrong with me, and stop seeing my faults instead of my perfections. The singing bite from your snarky comments like angry wasps being shaken in my head while you stalk around in my mind, hitting my skull with a hammer. My heart radiates warmth to the rest of me. It sits there nestled in my ribcage, being frantically in protest and speaking monuments of its own. Only I can voice these words. You smirk, denying my voice box opportunity of use, for reminding I will only embarrass myself, or reminding me I'll embarrass myself, um, subjecting me to yet another of your ongoing rants about how I'll never be good enough, but I already am. My chest sounds with a loud go lump in retaliation. I will be damned if you shut me down again. There's no patience for the octagon stop sign in front of me. Yeah, I seem to have too, I seem to trip over air at times, and there's too much blood in my face. However, my eyes hold the ocean and the sky with all its in-betweens, and my internal instincts are highly inclined to be of use. I am me. In all my glorious stumbles and stuttering words, there's beauty, and even if I wanted, I could never be anyone else. I am me. Salt water mixed with blood, standing tall like a palm tree, seashells as eyes. Do not underestimate me, because while you shout loudly, my heart sings louder, and it will always be there deep down to remind me I am worthy. Do not underestimate me, inner critic, of suddenly choking you into silence. I'm able to open my mouth and read this poem to a crowd of strangers. Woo! <laughs>